Welcome into another one-on-one -on -one session here at OK Preps Media Days. I'm Michael Knight, sitting down now with Union Junior Makai Belt. Makai, thank you for sitting down with me today. And uh, you know, obviously, uh, a lot of experience coming back for this Union team. You know, it's an interesting circumstance because you know some of the guys who got in last year maybe weren't expecting to get a lot of playing time going into the season. But you know, you Rovon Banks got a lot of playing time last year. Um, you know, what can you take away from your experience last season, your first time playing varsity football? Um, obviously a little different than freshman ball in, in, in you know, uh, eighth grade ball. Uh, what can you take away from your first experience playing varsity football last season? Well, there's just way more people and stuff out there, way bigger, but it's cool, really. Is there a, you know, a game when you look back to last season, is there a game where, you know, it started to click for you where, you know, it, it wasn't, you know, there wasn't a whole lot of pressure, there wasn't, you know, as far as nervousness goes, because I got to think that it's a little nerve wracking. Uh, was there a game last year where it started to click and you started to feel comfortable out there? Well, I thought I would be nervous our first game against Lake Ridge, but I went out there and just played and I wasn't nervous after I ran out of teepee. Now, uh, for this team going into this season, you know, we mentioned last year, um, not a typical season when it comes to union standards, six and five, you know, losing in the first round. Typically, that's not what happens. And so building off that, um, you know, what's this offseason been like, you know, coming off a year like that? I got to think that it's, it's probably a little more intense than usual. Yeah, everybody just working way harder. We looking good. What is uh, what does the offense especially look like? Because look, I mean, um, I, most of the the guys we have here are on the offensive side of the ball. Um, I got to think that you know, talent wise, you got to feel like one of the better offensive units in the state. Um, how excited are you to to get out on the field and show what you guys have as an offensive unit? Yeah, I'm real excited with the new coaches and new plays and stuff. I feel like we should be real good. Now, for you, uh, um, this off season, how – I mean, look, it's obviously weird for a lot of circumstances, schools shutting down, things like that. Um, what was that like for you personally, you know, dealing with that, um, you know, trying to work out, trying to find, you know, stuff to do to, to stay in shape, things like that? How difficult was, you know, what we went through the last couple of months? It was hard, but me and Rovon, we would try and find a way to go up to the field, throw them lifting stuff by ourselves. Now, uh, you play both sides of the ball, wide receiver. You also see plenty of time on defense. What do you like more, offense or defense, and why? Probably offense because I just, I don't know. This offense is better to me. You, you score more yeah. on the offensive side of the ball. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's a pretty easy one. Um, let's talk about this offseason as a team. Um, last couple of weeks, things started opening up. You guys are able to work out again as a squad. Uh, what has that been like to get back together as a team to start building towards 2020? It's been good, but we haven't been like the whole team because we can't have everybody there at the same time. So it's just been like the offense and defense spread out, but it's been good. How weird is that to, to deal with where, I mean, look, everybody's going through the same thing, but at the same time, um, it has to feel a little different than what you're used to. I low-key kind of like it, though, because you're just getting closer with the offense, and then once we get to practice, we can just click and stuff. Yeah. Now, uh, we mentioned it you know, with, with a, a previous guest, but things are going to look different with, with Union this year just because – you know, the renovations at the stadium going on. You guys have, like, three home games on the regular season schedule. Uh, you know, if you're you're fortunate to finish one or two in the district, you get a home game in the playoffs. Um, you guys are going to be road warriors. Most of these games are going to be on the road. Um, you know, how do you feel about, you know, playing, you know, the majority of the season on the road away from home? Well, me personally, I like playing away games, so I don't really care too much about it. But I'm ready for the new – Stadium though. What uh, what about away games do you prefer as opposed to playing at home? Uh, we get to eat good, <laughs> <laughs> and it's just like bus rides and stuff. I like them. Yeah. Now, finally, uh, for you personally, you know, what have you been trying to uh, improve on 
this off season as a player to to get ready for this junior season? Really, I just been trying to gain weight, get my routes better and stuff, get faster. Simple enough. Union looking to uh, bounce back this season. Makai, uh, thank you so much for sitting down with me today. Looking forward to seeing what you guys do in 2020. Thank you. He's Makai Bell. I'm Michael Knight. This has been another one-on-one session here at OK Preps Media Days.